On this land, I am torn. Part of me wants to fight and repel all outsiders. The other part of me is the outsider. In the name of liberty, I will fight the enemy. regardless of their allegiance. While men of courage write history of this day, the future of our land depends on those who are truly free. Did you guys think of that? I thought it looked really good, and I will be the first to admit that my expectations were a teensy bit tempered. After playing three Assassin's Creed games in three years, I was like, ah, how much more can they pull out of me to get excited for Numero Trace? But it looks like they've taken things to another level, which is what I was waiting for. First of all, the modernization does a huge bit for me. I mean, the free running looks vastly improved. I love that bit where they jump on the little rooftop through the building, back out the window. It reminded me strangely of the Beyond Good and Evil 2 trailer from a couple years back. Not sure if you guys have seen that or not, but very similar. And again, it's kind of hard to tell where does gameplay mix the cinematic, where is the the blurring between that line, but regardless, it seems like I have much heavier focus on fluid traversal and, and more of a uh, th in buildings. Like It looks like you're going to be going in and out at a more rapid pace instead of just rooftop running the entire game. Now, also, the graphics engine is definitely significantly improved, which is super exciting because, you know, you move around cities in Assassin's Creed 2, Revelations, Brotherhood, but for the most part, you're like, eh, it's just a different architecture. Felt very similar. Now, with the snow environment, granted, it's a much different aesthetic look, but also, visually, it looks far superior. It has me super stoked on that front. The combat, looking really good as well. I like the tomahawk. It seems like it's going to be pretty brutal. Up close with some of those kills. Guns now added in. You know, before guns were kind of added, it seems like they'll play a bigger role this time around. I also like the, uh, the battles, the way that that's going to kind of factor in. They have high hopes to place you in these epic scenes, and before where most set pieces were, sure there were some chases and some big, you know, fights with eight knights or whatnot, the set pieces were more structures, were more climbing, it looks like this time they're going to be like, hey, we'll give you that, and we're also going to give you these epic, epic battle set pieces, and maybe you'll be involved with hundreds of soldiers, who knows how many they can fit on the screen, but it looks super good, I'm very excited, I think the character's cool, and again, the modernization is what really does it for me, if this was another game set somewhere in Europe, in, you know, some century, I would probably be like, I don't know, like, I'm more, I'm more into Halo 4, I'm more into Dishonored, I'm more into, you know, Borderlands 2, but, while I still love those games, this, taking it to a more relevant time period that we can all relate more to with houses and buildings that look more like us, I think that's very, very cool, and I think it will give you much more of a, oh my god, I'm this crazy assassin in modern day, or close to modern day, um, in Assassin's Creed 3, so I'm super stoked, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, how excited you are, also, did you notice that one of the guys that dies early in the video sounds like a dude from Happy Wheels, I don't know if that's coincidental, I don't know if it's a purposeful little <laughs> easter egg or what, or if I'm just losing my mind, but replay it back at the beginning of the video, and let me know if that guy does sound like, in fact, he is one of the dudes from Happy Wheels. Either way, though, hope you enjoyed the trailer. Leave a like if you were excited for Assassin's Creed 3 coming this fall. Let me know what you think. If you're excited, if you don't really have much enthusiasm, if three games in the last three years was too much for you, I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know below. Drink some hot cocoa. Have a fantastic day. Watch out for nasty, nasty tomahawks. And 
Till next time, guys and girls. Of course, I will have all the coverage of Assassin's Creed 3 when the game actually releases later this fall. But right now, let's just ride that hype train because it seems pretty cool. Till next time, guys and girls. Once again, have a great day, and we will see you all later.